In this video, we'll see how to create a filter using an expression on a dataset table in a dataset. Here I have a sales history dataset that I created earlier. Um, if I open this dataset, you will see it's basically from the sales history schema. You have the sales table followed by a bunch of dimension tables. The filter that we will be applying is on this day D dimension table. But before we apply this filter, I'd like to go to the project. So here is a project um, that we'll be using today. As you can see, um, it has data for all the years, 2018 through 2021. This particular project is based upon a data set that I showed you earlier. Let's go to the sales history data set, edit it. We'll apply the filter on daily. Going to edit the definition of that data set table. As you know, we can apply filters at a data set table level going to click on creating a filter. So the new option that you will see is add expression filter. So I'm going to click on add expression filter to apply the filter on a column cal year and want to do it for the current year. So year and the variable is current date. I'm going to validate it. Validation is successful. Apply. Now when I refresh the data to see the data, as you can see, they are all 2021. And I'm going to save this data set and go back to the project that we were looking at earlier. So as you can see, the project is getting refreshed and you see only data for 2021. But as you can see in this visualization, the first one is based upon um, the day D table. Table here, we have Calia, that's where the filter is applied. That visualization alone that uses that particular day D dimension got filtered. Whereas you see the one uh, with country name and amount sold um, still shows the total of uh, 98 million. So if you want this particular project to be only reflect the current year data, what we can do is go back to editing the data set. And in the join diagram, you can say always include this table in the query. So if we set this, what happens is that irrespective of whether you select attributes from that table or not, the system will always append that particular table to the query, which in turn applies our expression filter as well. So I'm going to save this data set now. I've set it always include in query and go back to the project and the project is getting refreshed automatically. Now you can see all the data changed for the rest of the visualizations as well, even though we have not used the daily dimension. You can see that the data is filtered for 2021. Thank you.